Hello, in this session, we are going to be talking about a catalyst test. So, before we start uh, talking about the procedure for the catalyst test, first of all, let us see uh, what is this catalyst test. So, this catalyst test is a common enzyme. An enzyme is a bioelectrical catalyst which catalyzes the reaction. So, it is an enzyme in either aerobic organism or any organism that live in oxygen and that is rich in environment and also including their facultative anaerobes. So, um, the main objective of this catalyst test is to differentiate catalyst positive micrococcal and staphylococcal species from catalyst negative streptococcal species. So, let us see the principle. Here in the principle, aerobic and facultative anaerobic organisms produce two toxins during normal metabolism. Hydrogen peroxide and superoxide radicals. Uh, these bacteria have two enzymes that detoxify the products of normal metabolism. One of these enzyme catalysts is capable of converting hydrogen peroxide to water and oxygen. So, um, what catalyst does is it breaks down the hydrogen peroxide, which further breaks down the uh, water and oxygen. And this is important because it protects the cell from the oxidative damage that comes from the reactive oxygen species. And this reactive oxygen species, they are generated as natural byproducts of normal oxygen metabolism. So, um, catalyst test is a diagnostic test used to distinguish between catalyst positive and catalyst negative when hydrogen peroxide is added into the um, glass slides uh, cause, uh, causes rapid elaborations of the oxygen bubble so to perform this catalyst test we are going to be needing um, the glass slides the h2o2 which is commercially available then the inoculating loop then the specimen so here i have given you the images so let us see the procedure so we have two types of uh, catalyst test method the first one we are going to be discussing is the slide method so in the slide method you uh, the first thing you have to do is you have to take a clean dry glass slide then with the help of a loop or a sterile wooden stick you have to transfer a small amount of colonies or it, some, it may also depend on the size of the colonies then you yeah, place it on the surface of a clean and dry glass slide then you place a drop of 3% hydrogen peroxide into the medium then you observe for the evolution of the oxygen bubbles here in the image i have given you the catalyst how this catalyst positive looks like and how this catalyst negative looks like so uh, we will discuss later this in the interpretation so next we will discuss on the tube method so this tube method for the tube method you are going to be made in the test tube which is very obvious um, the name itself suggests the tube method so you have to pour one to two ml of hydrogen peroxide solution into a test tube then with the help of a sterile wooden stick or a glass rod you have to take a colonies of 18 to 24 hours our space organism and then mix it in the hydrogen peroxide solution and then observe for the immediate bubbling here mm, uh, again in the image i have given how the cat sorry catalyst positive look like and how the cat neg catalyst negative looks like so uh, the interpretation uh, we'll be discussing about uh, the bubbling in the interpretation so this catalyst test is a very uh, fast and also a very easy and a convenient method to carry out you just have a three-step methods so let us see the interpretation so in the interpretation here in the positive um, as in the glass light as well as in the tube you can see the bubbling so you must be thinking what is this bubbling so this bubbling is um it is uh, because of the oxygen uh, which is a product of hydrogen peroxide and water uh, which catalyze and this since oxygen is a gas so it it gives out in the form of a gas which goes to 
uh, which causes bubbling so uh, this indicates that um, if there is a bubbling either on your slide or on the tube this suggests that the organism have a catalyst enzyme present in them whereas the absence or the very few bubbles are um, observed this means that the organism does not have a catalyst present in them so one very important thing is whenever you do this catalyst test make sure that you um, do not pick up the colonies from the blood agar plate as this plate uh, contains the red blood cells as blood agar is prepared by blood so um, it contains the red blood cells which itself has a catalyst present in the plate so when you collect the colonies from this plate it can give you a false positive result now let us see the quality control so this quality control it is a system of maintaining a standards in manufactured products by testing a sample of the output against the uh, specification so uh, uh, here in the positive we have the quality control for the positive we have staphylococcus aureus atcc 25 923 and in negative we have streptococcus pyogenes atcc 19615 so you must be thinking again what is this atcc 25923 uh, and 19615 so this is um american type uh, culture collection it is a quality strain which provides the top quality microbial strain needed to maintain the outstanding quality control programs so this is all about catalyst test which is a diagnostic test to differentiate the catalyst positive and the catalyst negative it is really fast and very cheap and very easy and also a very convenient method to carry out thank you